Okay, over the past couple of weeks, I got a few emails uh, all asking about Camry. So first off, I want to thank you guys for the questions. I appreciate those. And I'll uh, do my best to answer this one. So uh, the questions were primarily about how I deal with Camlene on my Absolute 40. Do I run any pre-lean? How often do I check for Camlene, etc. So I figured at uh, the best way to answer these questions, at the risk of possibly sounding a little redundant, is to explain what a Camlene is and is it really such a bad thing? What is kind of causing Camlene on your typical bow? And then make a comparison to what's happening on an OK Archery bow and then uh, go into details and address how I actually address Camlene on my Absolute 40. Uh, so, uh, what is Camlene? I have an older Hoyt here, which is a representative of your typical bow. So, uh, on a common Hoyt like this, um, that has like yokes, a cam, and a cable guard, uh, you will see that one and most common cause for Camlene is the cable guard pulling the cable on the side. So if you notice these cables are like pulling on the side which means that they're pulling unevenly onto the cam and then they have a tendency to like twist the cam this way. So the cam would lean this way a little bit naturally. Uh, so that's one very common cause. Another is um, the yokes not being of equal length. So if one yoke is shorter than the other the cam will lean towards the other side. Um, there's other uh, less frequent causes with these bows so you know the the cam might be crooked the the holes for the axles might be drilled incorrectly so there's many reasons but uh, in generally with in, in general with a bow that's um, good with a bow that is uh, basically proper uh, there there are only a few a few reasons why there would be a cam lean so is cam lean really a bad thing now um i don't think so i mean the bow will shoot consistently to itself every shot so the bow will repeat itself so if there is uh consistency with the archer there's no doubt that people can shoot with like extreme cam lean uh now is it better to not have cam lean i guess that depends for me i always start with absolutely no cam lean like i i uh, before i set up my bow i check for cam lean i remove any cam lean from it and um take that as my baseline and then tune tune from then on uh now um how do we remove cam lean so regardless if we're dealing with an okay bow or any other bow um we want the cam and the cables to be tracking right down the middle of the cam. So if there's any lean, so if the cam is leaning one way, that means that to, to basically address the problem and, and, and center the cam or straighten it out, what we if we have yokes to work with, what, what needs to be done is if the cam is leaning, say, this way, so we have lean coming this way, um, that means that to actually straight, straighten the cam out, the cam needs to come this way, which means that this axle or this uh, this limb needs to pull harder so to do that what we need to do is shorten this yoke and to do that we just add a twist or two um, obviously this is a trial and error there's no set rule of how many twists is enough but essentially that's what we're trying to accomplish so um, consequently if the if the cam is leaning the other way so if the cam is leaning this way uh, we want to straighten it this way which means that this a limb needs to pull harder or equally this limb needs to pull less so to do that we either need to remove twists from this side or add twists to this side it's pretty much common sense and uh, I try not to uh, create rules kind of like if it's leaning to the right or if it's leaning to the left add twists to the left or uh, remove twists from the right or whatever I just want to look at the cam see which way it's leaning see what I need to do to correct it and then uh, add remove twists um, one side or the other. Um, technically adding twists on one side is the same as removing twists from the other side. Uh, which one you decide to do really shouldn't matter too much. Um, I mean in, in extreme cases where you will be twisting uh, way too much it's probably better to you know add to one side and remove from the other side rather than just like keep uh, keep cranking one side. But any adjustment that will take one or two twists really doesn't matter if you're adding twists to the side or remove to one side or uh, removing twists to the other side. Now, 
Uh, when it comes to OK archery bows, and for that I'll take my absolute. If you look at these things, they don't have a cable guard. So there's nothing pulling cables one side or the other. Uh, that means that inherently these bows are not prone to cameline as much as your typical bow. Uh, obviously, uh, there are cables pulling on the limbs on the side. So if the, the cables are not of same length, there will be some, uh, some, some cameline. So, um, you know, it's, it's possible that you'll get some, a cam that leans one way or the other, but the same principles apply. So to um, fix cameline on an absolute, I do the same thing as I would do on another bow. So add a twist on one t to the cable on one side or remove twist from the other side. Uh, the th good thing about these bows is that while with a typical bow you probably or rather definitely need to put in a bow press, these bows can be adjusted with no tools whatsoever. And uh, I think now I'm just gonna like show how I check for cameline and then how I adjust it on my absolute. All right, so to check cameline, I use a drawboard. So my bow is already in a drawboard and just for demonstration purposes, I actually added one and a half twists to the right cam uh, to the right cable attached to the top cam. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pull the bow. Cameline is always checked at uh, full draw. So uh, if you don't have a draw board, I guess another way to do this is to have somebody look at you as you're pulling your bow, like look behind it. But uh, obviously draw board is uh, the preferred way to do business. So then with an arrow, I just light on the cam, just like so. And then I compare it with the string. And it's kind of obvious that the arrow is pointing away from the string. Uh, if I put it on the other side of the cam equally, wait, we'll see that the arrow is actually crossing uh, crossing the, the cable. So to adjust the cam lean, what this means is so now the cam is leaning this way. So what I want to do is I want to straighten it out kind of like this way. So to do that, I'll have to make either this limb pull less or make this limb pull more. Knowing what I did earlier, which is like add twists here, I'm just going to remove the same twists and uh, we'll check for cam lean after. So next is letting down. We are good. So this is where these bows uh, truly shine. Let me see if I can put this down somewhere. I don't know if that's going to work, but what I want to do now is remove one and a half twists off this, this cable because that's what I added. Now, normally I would put the bow in a bow press and uh, do that, but now what I need to do is I can just pull on this cable down. So the opposite cable I'll just pull down and that is going to loosen this other cable completely. So technically now I don't even need a bow press to do this. So uh, again, I'll try to put this camera down and see how I can show that. This is what I'm doing. I am just pulling down on the opposite cable of the one that I'm gonna be working with. That's gonna loosen this up so I can just detach it, disconnect it, and then 
remove a half, remove a fold, remove one and a half, and then just reattach it. And that's it. So now I'm going to check for cameline again. By now the cameline should be fully gone. So pull the bow. Full draw. And same procedure. I lie an arrow against the cam and then a look up and the arrow is parallel to the string. If I do it on the other side, I will get the same result. Sorry about that. So here we go, fully lean against the cam and we are parallel all the way up. So uh, that's pretty much all when it comes to adding and removing uh, cam lean from these bows. Now, I know uh, there was a question how often I check, uh, and that I guess depends on the quality of your strings. Uh, these are the factory strings that I'm running. Uh, so, you know, the better strings, the less they will stretch, the less they stretch, the, mo the less you need to check for, for cam lean. I really don't check for cam lean at all. I only check um, when I change arrows from uh, summer to uh, from summer to uh, basically from indoor to outdoor. Uh, but hey, you want to check more often? That's fine too. Uh, bottom line is, you check for cam lean and you decide you want to adjust it. It doesn't take any setup. You can do it at home. You can do it at the range. You can do it pretty much anywhere. So. Um, Really, uh, no tools required to adjust cam lead on these bows.